Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, my name is Latif. Um, I'm very pleased to be here this morning. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow and Wednesday taking you um, a course on fundamentals of petroleum engineering. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself and then I also want... So um, I um, took my first degree, that's Bachelor's of Science in Petroleum Engineering. And I also did Masters in Petroleum, and I had PhD also in Petroleum uh, Engineering. And um, I've worked in the industry before. <clears throat> I worked with the um, Pan Ocean Oil Corporation, uh, where I was working as a company man on the drilling rig, as well as service uh, flow stations um, for about three, four years. And I also worked with Shell Petroleum on their uh, reservoir simulation consultancy service. And thereafter, I decided to go into academics and I started lecturing as a, a lecturer and a senior lecturer at the moment at the University of Aberdeen. So before then, I was working here in the University of Salford. So I was here for about three years plus. And then I decided to go north to Scotland in Aberdeen. And uh, I do teaching in petroleum lecturing. And I also do consultancy. So, in other words, I have a um, consultancy service uh, training, uh, dealing with um, consulting with uh, oil and gas services and things related to petroleum. So, that's my, a little bit about my, my background. Petroleum engineering involves virtually every aspect of engineering. So whether you're a civil engineer, whether you're a mechanical or electrical engineer, or you're uh, an industrial engineer, you always find a place in petroleum. I'm going to introduce you to the fundamentals of petroleum, and you're going to be talking about what exactly is petroleum, and what is petroleum engineering. And then we'll talk a little bit more about what you do to, in order to get hydrocarbon, to get oil and gas. How do you get it? That's exploration. Then we'll talk a little bit more about exploitation. That is, once you've found hydrocarbon, how do you then bring it out? That will involve drilling the well. So your well could be drilled on the land, that we call onshore, or it could be drilled offshore, that's in the sea, in water. So wherever you found yourself, you just want to drill and get hydrocarbon. And after that, we've got to produce the petroleum or hydrocarbon. So once you've drilled, the next thing is now to produce the hydrocarbon to the surface and that comes under production, okay? And then there's something we call reservoir engineer. So there is this concept of what is hydrocarbon? What is oil and gas? Is it like a pool of water where that is, that is somewhere and then you just get it out? So that, that's the conceptual thought about it, but it's not really like a pool of, of water. So, so I'll tell you the difference between having water well and oil well, and the difference between them. So um, under this drilling, I'll talk about the different types of rig, offshore rig, onshore rigs, and, and how, how you can make use of them. I'm going to show you some video to, to see some, uh, some of the operational processes involved. And then we'll do a little bit of the uh, same thing for production. So, so this is just an overview of what we're going to be doing in the next uh, couple of days. It's going to be fundamental. I won't take you too far because there are so many things in each of these that um, we may not really be able to cover in just three days. Right? So, but I'm going to give you flavor of what is involved in each of these. Okay. So, um, what is petroleum today? We're going to be talking about what petroleum is, and what is petroleum engineering. So this is how hydrocarbon is formed, is generated. 
in what sedimentary environment. 